Hey, what's up everyone? Chris here with another video. I know several of you asked me about how to update a ROM, how to dirty flash, if that's going to cause you to lose data on your phone. Well, this video is going to be for you all and others who don't know how to update a ROM. So many ROMs have weekly or nightly builds. Um, some of them have stable, which are usually maybe once a month or something like that. But just for example, we're going to be using the next bit Robin in Lineage OS. What you're going to need to do is go to the site for your ROM and download the latest build. So here we have 314 and we're going to be updating to that here. And so before you go ahead and flash ROMs and things like that, you always want to make sure your phone is backed up. So go ahead and back up um, any text messages, things like that if you so want to. And if you are rooted, go ahead and use Titanium Backup to back up your apps, the app state, and app data as well. So I really highly recommend you doing that. So let's go ahead and boot into TWRP, go to Recovery. Your device may not have the advanced reboot menu, um, so what you'll just need to do is just press and hold the power and volume down button at the same time, and then you should get to like your fast boot menu, and you just want to select recovery otherwise. All right. And then what you'll want to do is when you're in your custom recovery type TWRP, go ahead and always create a backup just in case. You're going to want to select boot, system, and data. Go ahead and swipe to backup. I'm not going to worry about that for right now though. But when you're switching ROMs, um, anything like that, always perform a backup. That way you, if something goes wrong, you can always restore it to the point before the issues arose. Let's go ahead and select install. And here is our 314 nightly build for Lineage OS. We're going to go ahead and swipe to confirm flash and let that do its thing. It's just going to take a minute or two. Now that's done. We're going to want to go ahead and wipe cache and dive at cache immediately after. So go ahead and select that and perform the wipe. And now if you were rooted, or if you want to root, you're going to want to go ahead and flash the Super SU zip. I'm using SR3 version 2.79. So we'll go ahead and flash that now. Because when you flash, dirty flash, or flash a new ROM, um, it's going to remove any root that you may have had before. Some ROMs now come pre-rooted, but I do like the Super SU version of root and this is how you're going to get your root back after you dirty flash a ROM. And we can see here there's a, a notice if you're not familiar with root. Um, the first boot is going to take a couple minutes and it's going to even reboot midway through the first boot. So don't be alarmed, don't worry if that happens, that's normal. So let's go ahead and reboot now. And I'll show you what I'm talking about by that first initial reboot. So once it begins the um, the boot animation, it's going to reboot. So right now, it, in just a second, it's going to show the Lineage OS boot animation, and then it's going to reboot. There it is, and then there. Now it's rebooting once again. So once that happens, you're fine. It's just going to take, um, I would say, maybe five minutes or so for the first boot, because we also wiped the cache and Dalvik cache, so now the phone is rebuilding those caches again. So it's going to take a couple minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, so it's now booted back up after several minutes. And what we can go ahead and do now is just check to see if the update was successful. Oh, wrong one. About the phone. And we can see... Lineage OS 314. So thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content and future how-to videos just like this. And stay tuned and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Take care.